Hi right, guys, so there's a new Mega Superstar offer. It is the one for the Kevin Owens Trickster, which is a damn good trickster. I got it myself. If we check out his moves, he's got the pop-up powerbomb, the senton, the reverse pop handle neck breaker, the cold breaker, and the cannonball. Trainer at 5,000. Silas Gem do 35% more damage. He has links with Canadian, SmackDown, and Modern Era. And he actually has two sets of gear. One that you can't unlock right now, at least. So maybe later. If we check the actual numbers. Oops, wrong window. There you go. So if we put him at silver... The two uh, trainers I have on him right now is Xavier Wood to have more purple starting point and Big John Stud to generate four more red gems. And the moveset I've put in is the Pop-Up Power Bomb, which at silver is going to do 13.8k uh, 30, damage plus 1100 bonus for every silence gem on the board. The Senton, that's going to do close to 6,000 damage and make six random gems into silence gem and the code breaker which does 8k damage and makes eight random green gems into red obviously you're going to want to use that code breaker first to generate those red gems and you want to use that scent on bomb just before you do your finisher because you have a whole you're going to have a whole bunch of silence gem on the board and you're going to do that bonus damage with the finisher. Another option, if you don't want to use your Xavier Wood on him, which is probably what I'll be doing with mine once I level him, is you can actually put in your, uh, instead of Xavier Wood, you could put in Sting and use Purple Red Red. So instead of the... Uh, of the code breaker you would be using the cannonball not as good but if you don't want to waste woods that's a good way to have a very useful kevin owens trickster because he is the second best trickster in the game right now from from what people are saying i actually haven't used mine very much because i haven't leveled him but it's definitely one that I is going to be within the next ones that I'll be doing because I really need a good trickster. And you can actually, like, probably the setup I'll be doing for mine is I'm going to have Sting, and I, instead of Big John Stud, I'm going to have uh, my Dean Ambrose since he's already at 5,000. So that he's, gonna, he's a great trainer for him as well. So, food for thought. Second guy you can get, Alberto Del Rio which has the cross arm breaker, moonsault, scoop power slam, double knee arm breaker, diving double axe handle. Trainer bonus is that move that generate green gems will create four more gem four more green gems. Links with Mexican League of Nation and Modern Era and just one gear set. I'll go actually faster on these guys since it's, they've been there quite a while so you guys should probably know them by now. The best move set well there's two viable go gear, uh, not gear, but move set for Del, Del Rio, which is the either the first, like what I have on the screen right now, the first green, the purple, and the uh, second blue. Or you can go both blues and purple. Personally, I like this one better. You use the submission, the scoop power slam, which does 6.8k damage, and choose nine gems to make into blue, thanks to Seth Rollins and XT. And a diving double axe handle that does 10.5k damage and choose 5 gems to make into green gems. That is pretty much the way to go. I love the setup for Del Rio. My main issue with my Del Rio is to be as excellent as he is on paper. You need Xavier Woods on him and mine don't. And he doesn't have that uh, set roll in NXT either. Because those two guys are the exact two guys I got on AJ Styles. So if you're using AJ, chances are you won't be using Del Rio. If you don't have AJ, Del Rio is a beast. Third guy, Rick Rude. If you check here, Rude Awakening, DDT, Eye Poke, Spike Pile Driver, Knee Drop. 
Trainer bonus at 5,000. Blast gem do 35% more damage. He has links with DX, Eden Family, New World Order, and the Legend Era, and only one set of gear. If we check his stats. Three star bronze. Yeah, I forgot that. I think when I did Del Rio, I, I had him as, as three star gold. Yeah. <laughs> so as bronze, best move set for him is actually the first three, uh, the first three skills he has. The Rude Awakening, which does almost 11k damage and choose eight gems to destroy and pin. Because I got Del Rio and Xavier Woods as trainer on him. DDT. 9.5k damage, steal 3 blast gem. Oop. I actually got that wrong here. It's not the right purple. I poke 5.6k damage and make 3 random red gems into purple gems. And on the bottom here, deal 9.2k damage and choose 6 gem to make into green gems. I also have Rick Rude, but I actually have never used them yet. Uh, normally, you simply choose, you simply use your choose move and priority over your yellow and purple gems. It's pretty pretty standard move set. It's going to get the job done. The finisher is pretty cool, actually, to... Uh, get uh, like you choose eight gems to destroy and pin the opponent that's a great way to get your crate and uh, loot gems so you can use them for farm if you don't have like a irs or uh, dead the bsc so that's about it you can get also stardust up to three star bronze and a whole bunch of great other characters that you can get at different variations of two star bronze up to two star golds for some of them including Yokozuna that you can now get also. So quite a quite a good assortment of great characters. So it's a if you got the cash to spare, definitely a good set to spare it on. So if you're not already a subscriber to my channel, make sure you subscribe to be kept aware when I post new stuff. If you have a comment, leave it. And if you like the video, leave a like. See you guys. Ciao.